okay the next concept is uniform circular motion so what is uniform circular motion simply the title tells you that the body should be in the circular motion so body is in circular motion such that it is rotate it is moving in with constant speed take a massive body and the massive body another body which is small m is rotating such a manner that the speed of the body at each and every point the speed of the body at each and every point is constant see same v v v v so any body describing the circular path and such that it is moving with constant speed then it's called uniform circular motion okay so here speed equal to constant but do you think that velocity is constant let us see velocity means we understand that it is a vector quantity it is having magnitude as well as direction so at different points a point a point b point c point d if you observe all the four points the velocity magnitude is same v v v v but coming to the directions here the velocity direction is upward here it is left side it is downward it is right side so direction is changing when the direction is changing we can't say that velocity is constant the velocity is changing so in uniform circular motion velocity is not constant velocity changes when velocity changes just recall the topics we discussed in the, in uh, kinematics we discussed that when the velocity changes there is another physical quantity affecting the motion of the body and that physical quantity is acceleration whenever you have change in velocity you have acceleration so uniform circular motion is also called accelerated motion accelerated motion now suppose this is the say this is the distance r between the smaller mass and the bigger mass or i can say r is the radius of the circular path and if you observe carefully the radius makes an angle of 90 degrees with the velocity when the velocity in this direction you should know that displacement yes is also in the same direction of velocity because displacement velocity both are vectors so velocity in which direction is it is moving displacement yes is also in the same direction so here you should know that displacement also makes 90 degree angle with the radius of the path then my question is that what about the direction of acceleration velocity displacement direction we understand what about the direction of acceleration okay drawing velocity vectors using this technique we going to find what is the direction of acceleration okay so see carefully see this diagram take see the point a and point b or else this is point a take another point here this is say a dash and a dash i have taken another velocity which is v dash so at a you have v at a dash you have v dash you should know may confuse the why i am taking v dash v dash is velocity it's not speed if it is speed v is same i am saying v dash because the direction is changing so now take the v v dash both the vectors draw here again in the same direction see this is v this is v see this is parallel to this line now take the v dash draw in the same direction here when you are drawing be clear that this vector should be parallel to the v dash see parallel this is v dash starting from the tail so now what happening here here v changing to v dash so v changing to v dash so v as v change v dash see i am i am showing in vector vector form see 
this arrow says that v changes to v dash and the change has happened from here to here so this arrow going towards in this direction in this direction means this is the line see this is the line these two lines are parallel now i told that this arrow representing the change and change i will use the symbol delta in mathematics so change in velocity i'll say delta v so delta v is in direction and i already told that change in velocity is nothing but acceleration because change in velocity per unit time is acceleration so change in velocity direction is acceleration direction so delta v direction is nothing but acceleration direction so now the acceleration in this direction that means this is acceleration direction now if you observe carefully this arrow this arrow is pointing towards the center of the circle so this arrow pointing towards the center of the circle that means acceleration is also pointing towards the center of the circle and hence this acceleration is called ac ac and ac is nothing but centripetal acceleration centripetal acceleration it means acceleration acting towards center of the circle that is called centripetal acceleration okay now let me draw the velocity vectors take all this velocity vectors and draw a circular path such a manner that see this is v again this is v this is v this is v now if we join like this this is delta v delta v v to v delta v so observe carefully i am drawing the delta v like this v to v delta v v to v delta v delta v so it looks like a circle if i draw it a little more effectively you can get a circle here and this circle is having a radius v so the radius of the circle is v so then if i take a question like this what is acceleration according to this circular path then acceleration we understand that velocity by velocity means change in velocity by time t and change in velocity is delta v by time t next distance travel equals to the distance travel we know that it is nothing but the distance travel the circular path is nothing but 2 pi r if r is the radius and here the radius is v so the distance travel is 2 pi v acceleration is equals to change in velocity by time period and change in velocity is delta v by t but here we want to find the acceleration along the circumference of the circle then you have to take the addition of all these vectors delta v delta v all the additions you have to take then you'll get the the total acceleration along the circular path and to find the total vector sum of all these velocities is nothing but the distance traveled of the circular path and distance traveled equal to 2 pi v because if you take a circular path the distance traveled is 2 pi r and here r is nothing but v so therefore acceleration a c equals to distance traveled a change in velocity but change in velocity sum you are taking this change in velocity sum is distance traveled 2 pi v and by total time t okay so distance traveled equals to 2 pi v comma acceleration ac equals to i told you already you have to take the vector sum of all dv's 
and to make vector sum of all dv's is nothing but circumference of the circle and circumference circle is 2 pi r r is the radius and here the radius is v so therefore it is 2 pi v by total time taken t okay now come back to here this circle from this circle v equal to 2 pi r by t and implies t equals to 2 pi r by v so this is equation 1 this is equation 2 observe carefully you are to find acceleration in terms of velocity and radius so you have to eliminate capital t and when you eliminate capital t from equation 1 and 2 what you get ac equals to 2 pi 2 pi v by t t means 2 pi r into v so 2 pi 2 pi is cancel so you'll get ac equals to v square by r and this is called centripetal acceleration.